So if you're getting this particular message, cannot start the PS4, cannot access system storage, and you get this error message code CE-34335-8, then what this means is that there's something physically wrong with the hard drive in your PS4. So inside of your PS4 here, there's a hard drive and there's something wrong. Most likely what I hear from people is that they dropped their PS4, you know, it was like on a desk and it dropped to the floor or something like that. Or what can happen is over time, your hard drive in your PS4 can go bad. So you'll also see a white light right here. So you see a solid white light in your PS4 and you'll see the message on your screen that says cannot access system storage. Okay, so if you're getting this problem and you're trying to install the system software using one of the methods in my other videos and you keep getting this problem, then that means one of two things. You're gonna have to replace your hard drive. So I already did the research for you guys and I found a good, affordable, compatible replacement hard drive for your PS4 that's gonna perform really well. So go ahead and look in the description of this video to find the link for that replacement hard drive. But before you do that, there's one thing you can try that's not gonna cost you any money. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and shut down your PS4. So as you see here, it says, press the power button for one second until the system beeps to turn off. So let's go ahead and push that power button. So wait until the white pulsing light turns off completely before you proceed. Okay, okay, so here we see the light is gone. So now I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect all the PS4 cables, including the power from the back of the PS4. And I'm gonna show you this free fix that you can try to fix your PS4 without replacing the hard drive. Okay, now that I disconnected the cables, what you're gonna wanna do is turn your PS4 upside down and then have the back facing you. So, okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do this on the PS4 Pro, which is the model I have. For the regular PS4 and Slim, there'll be similar methods. It'll be slightly different, so you can just Google that. But this is how to do it for the PS4 Pro. So what you're gonna do is, as you can see, there's a small screw here that we have to get to in order to get to it. We have to remove this plastic piece here. So you're gonna go to it from the side and kind of this right corner, push it in with your finger, and then you see it just snaps out. Great. Now you're gonna take a Phillips screwdriver, which is the one with the cross, not the flat one and it has to be a small one, and you're gonna take out the screw here. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out the little drive cage here. As you can see, the hard drive is in there. So what I recommend that you do is get one of these compressed gas duster canisters, and I will leave a link in the description below if you need one. And what we're gonna do is kind of point this in here and clean it out really good because what could happen is a lot of dust buildup and other stuff gets trapped in there and it's gonna cause problems with the connection on your PS4 hard drive. I'll do the same here. And if you have a small microfiber wipe, you can go ahead and just clean it up a bit there. And one other thing that could happen is that the hard drive got dislodged from the connection. So, so as you can see right now, it kind of slides in and make sure the hard drive side is pointing down. There you go, it's back. So we're gonna go ahead and connect it back and let's see if it fixed our problem where it cannot start the PS4 because it cannot access the system drive. All right, so now we're gonna simply press the power button once. And then we're gonna check on our screen or monitor to see if the issue is fixed. Okay, so as you guys can see, the issue has been fixed and that was a totally free solution. So go ahead and give that a try, see if it works for you. However, if you're getting the cannot access the system storage error message and pulling out the drive, cleaning everything out, didn't work for you guys, then you are gonna need to replace your hard drive, a link down in the description for a compatible replacement hard drive. So yeah, unfortunately you won't be able to retrieve your saved games unless you manually back them up or you have PlayStation Plus and you had automatic uploads for your saved games. So for a video on how to get your saved games back, if you're a PlayStation Plus member and you had automatic uploads enabled, then check out this video up here to find out how to do that. Okay, before I move forward with the additional fixes, 
I would appreciate it if you guys would consider donating to the channel, either using the applaud button that you can see on PC or Mac as you will see on your screen right now, or by using the buy me a coffee link that you will see down in the description. Even a two or three dollar donation goes a long way to keep the channel going, so I would appreciate that. Okay, great, now that you're on your computer, you're gonna wanna go ahead and plug in your USB flash drive, and we're gonna go ahead and prepare that first to get it ready for the PS4 system software. Okay, so first you wanna open up Windows Explorer, which is this yellow icon right here. Okay, once you plug in your flash drive, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this. And in my case, my USB drive is the letter K. So if you don't see this window with the contents of your USB drive, just go to the left side here and find the correct drive letter and click on it. And next, you're going to want to create two folders. The first one is, so click on the folder here. You're going to want to name it capital PS4. Press enter. Go ahead and go into that folder, double click. And I want to create a second folder, again in capital letters, called update. Press enter. Okay, before we actually go and download the file, we're going to want to double check that our USB drive is formatted correctly. Now, if you right click on the drive letter of your USB drive and hit properties, you're going to want to look under general tab right here where it says file system. Now the two file systems that the PS4 accepts is FAT32 and XFAT. So again, that's FAT32 or EXFAT. Now, if your file system on your USB drive says NTFS, then that's not going to work for your PS4. We're going to we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and reformat it to the correct file system. So if your USB drive is not formatted correctly, you're gonna to wanna to right click, hit format, and under file system, either select FAT32 or XFAT. Either one of these will work. And then you can go ahead and label it to whatever you want. You can use a USB flash drive and so on, and make sure that the quick format is checked. Uh, that's gonna make the formatting much faster and then hit start and that should format your USB drive. Now keep in mind that this is gonna wipe everything off the USB drive. So you'll wanna back up the contents of your USB drive before you format the flash drive. Okay, once our flash drive has the correct file system, then we can go ahead and proceed to create the folders required for the PS4 system software update. Okay, now that we created the file folders needed for the system software update, you're going to want to go down to the description of this video and click on the link for the PS4 system software update download. And that's going to bring you to this page right here. And the current version as of today's date is software update 7.51. However, if you're viewing this in the future and it has a different system software update, no problem. It will work just fine. Just go ahead and download whatever the latest system software update is. Okay. So what you want to do is scroll down. And then you will see two different options for downloading the PS4 system software. On the left, you'll see download PS4 update file. On the right, you'll see download PS4 reinstallation file. We want the reinstallation file and not the update file. The update file is much smaller. It doesn't contain everything that's needed to get the full system software on your PS4 and get your PS4 up and running again. So again, installing the reinstallation file is also referred to as a factory or hard reset. And if you had problems following along to the instructions I gave earlier about creating the folder files or formatting your USB drive the correct way, you can click on this guide here and it contains written instructions on how to prepare your USB flash drive to install the PS4 system software for reinstallation. Okay, when you're ready to download the PS4 reinstallation file, again, you're gonna wanna select the one on the right that says reinstallation. Go ahead and click on download ps4 reinstallation file and this is very important make sure you don't click open you want to click save okay okay something really important here notice that i previously downloaded this file so you see here that it has a parentheses three we're going to want to go ahead and fix that because per the instructions the update file must be named a certain way it must be named ps4 update period p 
PUP. So once it's finished downloading, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how you can fix that problem. Okay, once it finishes downloading, you can go ahead and click on view downloads or just go to the download folder where your web browser usually downloads files to. Then I'm going to go ahead and click open folder. Okay, so here we see the file we just downloaded is this PS4 update and then parentheses three. We're going to want to go ahead and right click, hit copy. Go over to our key drive, which is a USB flash drive that we have. Go into our PS4 folder by double clicking, then double click into the update folder, then right click and hit paste. Okay, there's one final thing we're going to need to do in order for this update file to work on our PS4. And we're going to want to go ahead and right click and hit rename because we need to make sure that it's named correctly. And we're going to take out this parentheses three. So your file should be named exactly like this PS4 update.pup. Now don't try to open the file or anything. Just leave it on there and go ahead and eject your USB flash drive at this point. And we're going to go ahead and connect it to our PS4 and go from there. Okay, now we're going to want to hop on our PS4. Go ahead and make sure your PS4 is connected with the USB cable onto your PS4. Go ahead and plug in your USB flash drive onto your PS4. Now, if you don't have a USB flash drive and need one, or for example, if your USB flash drive is not compatible with your PS4, like this one where it's too thick and you can't plug it in because it's just too thick, then you can take a look down in the description below and I'm going to have a link to a compatible USB flash drive that works with the PS4. Okay, so go ahead and take your flash drive and plug it in. and make sure the flash drive is all the way in. Now simply go ahead and turn on your PS4, hit the power button. Okay, on this screen, go ahead and press the PS button. And then you're gonna wanna use the D-pad here. Don't use this analog stick. Use the D-pad to go to the right to okay, and then press the X button. And now this is gonna read the contents of the update file from your flash drive that you prepared. And it's going to load the PS4 system software onto the PS4 and get your PS4 working again. Okay, again, a warning that your PS4 will be initialized. That means all users and all data will be deleted. Go ahead and go to the right and press X for yes. So at this point, it's initializing or wiping the data off of your PS4. And that part is fairly fast. Now it's going to go ahead and copy the system software onto your hard drive on your PS4. Okay, after it reboots, it's going to go ahead and install the reinstallation update file, as you can see here. Okay, at this point, your PS4 is going to restart and you should see some of these screens you see here. So, okay, so once you get to this blue screen where it's asking you to connect your PS4 controller to the PS4 using a cable, then you can go ahead and remove your USB flash drive. And then you can go ahead and proceed to set up your reinitialized PS4.